Hey guys, it's Goddess Puff and welcome to your reading. All right, let's get started with an oracle card message for Aries. What is going on with Aries at this very moment in time? What does Aries need to know? Okay, let's see. We have boar ferocity. So someone's coming at you real, real aggressive. Yeah, rat adaptability. I feel like it's a boss. I feel like this is in the office. Mouse advantage. This could be a new job, doesn't have to be, or a new boss. But I feel like you're maneuvering around them. I feel like they're a tyrant and they're like real aggressive. Like they haven't approached you with this aggression yet because you've been able to maneuver around them. But I feel like you're hearing about or learning that this person is like this. We have Fox cunning. Yeah, so you're maneuvering around this. It's not really going to get to you. Overall energy is Blackbird Omens. So you could have heard about this. That's what I'm getting. You got a forewarning about this person. Now, if it's not work, it's like a family member, friend, lover, ex. Someone's coming towards you or they just have a real aggressive like attitude towards you for some reason. They want something from you. But you're adapting and you have the advantage of getting away from and around this person. So it's not going to affect you. Well, let's get into the tarot and see more on this. For Aries. I don't like this person. Like, what are they so pressed about? King of Cups, it could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, you have the Knight of Pentacles. I keep getting that it's work related, but take it as it resonates. Six of Wands. Okay, so you're winning at work. You have the added advantage. I don't know if you got an employee of the month or a raise or promotion or you're just advancing at work like rapidly. Some of you could have gotten some award at work or you're just having a lot of victory when it comes to your career. You're being praised. I feel like if you did switch... um. If you switched career paths, or not career paths, but you switched companies, that's what I meant to say. If you switched companies or you got a new boss, your track record is amazing. They keep hearing about how great you are at your job, but for some reason they're coming at you aggressively. They want you to stop or slow down or change the way you're doing things, even though it's good. I don't know why they're attacking you for being good at your job. I feel like they don't like that. They don't like that you're the star of the office. They don't like that at all. Yeah, the magician. This is Gemini and Virgo energy with um, Fox Cunning and Eight of Cups. So you may be leaving a company in two weeks. Like you put a, you could have put in your two weeks and so you're just maneuvering this person until you leave. And this person keeps trying to stop you or address this, but it's kind of too late because I feel like you already have a good word of mouth. You're already going to this new job. You're already winning. You're already getting this promotion. It's all set in stone. It's done. And I feel like you're just trying to bide your time so you can get away from this person. Yeah, with Cunning and the Magician, I feel like you have a way of hiding yourself or hiding away from this person. I feel like this person wants to manipulate things behind the scenes, but they can't. It's it's too late for them to do anything about it. This is just about you maneuvering around the situation until it's time for you to leave. They know that um, you're going to leave soon. I feel like what's triggering them is that they, they figured it out. They figured out that you're um, leaving and there's nothing they can do about it. For some of you, this person knew before, because for some of you, you kept it a secret. For others of you, you told this person before you got a job and they still like tried to blacklist you or stop you, but you still got the job anyway. Let's clarify. Clarifying the King of Cups is a magician again. Yeah, this person was trying to manipulate things in the background. Five of Swords, that's hate, that's conflict, competition, aggression, trying to win at all costs, right underneath um, for ferocity. So this is a manipulative, forceful, controlling my way or the highway person. And it's they're so mad because they didn't get their way. For some of you, you were you kept it a secret and you got the job and now you're just biding your time till you leave. For others of you, the word may have gotten around before you even got the job. You're still going to leave. You still get the job. And this person's mad because they can't control you. And the situation is out of their control. They're mad. I feel like they did try to manipulate it. Or they did manipulate it and it still didn't go their way. Someone tried to stop you from leaving. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. Maybe someone was trying to get you fired. 
but you end up getting promoted or moved to a different building or they did or something like that, you don't lose your job, but I feel like you get away from this person. Because with the Two of Cups clarifying the Knight of Pentacles, you're meant for whatever this job is. Whatever your position is, you are meant for it. Yeah, Ace of Cups, you love your job. The people at work love you. They love having you there. This is like the perfect position for you. And that, I feel like that just irritates them even more. Clarifying the Six of Wands is the Two of Wands. You have the added advantage to get like a leg up when it comes to this promotion or this new job in the Nine of Swords. Don't worry with the Nine of Swords. If you're having any anxiety or sleepless nights or anything like that, don't worry. You have nothing to worry about. You could be working overtime for this position and that's what made you successful. You have the added advantage because you spend nights or overtime working on this. But do not worry about your position. It's already set in stone. You get the Six of Wands. I feel like someone else could be stressed about it if it's not you. Clarifying the Magician is the Seven of Cups. So that's like double confirmation. This is just the minor to the major of the Magician. Manipulation. This person is just a manipulative, controlling tyrant. Two of Swords. So it's like they're trying to, for some of you here, if this is love or family, someone trying to make you choose between your job and them. Choose your job. Overall energy's judgment. Because if someone's doing that, okay, I'm going to say it like this. For some of you, there's a boss who's trying to make you choose between your love life and your job. You can do both. But someone wants to make it hard for you when it comes to work. Like if you're at work, they want you to work day and night to the point where you don't have a love life with the two of cups, ace of cups for some reason. Or they don't want you to love your job. Someone here just does not want you to love your job. They want you to hate it. They're trying to manipulate it and make you choose like, okay, if you have a job, you can't have a, a love life or friends. You can't have a personal life. Someone's trying to make you feel that way. They want to make you feel uncomfortable, but I don't feel like that's how you felt initially. I feel like you felt this was your purpose and it is the two of cups, ace of cups and the knight of pentacles. You like to work. You like this job and you've got a lot of success in it and someone just hates that. They want to change the narrative. They want to make you feel like you have to choose when you don't. Let me get you your final message. You don't have to choose, but someone wants you to feel like you do. And that's why you have adaptability, advantage, and cunning. Because you found a way around the situation. If you feel as though you're caught in a crossfire of the situation and you don't know what to do, um, I would say go to higher ups with the judgment call. I mean, judgment card. Go to higher ups and speak or uh, file a complaint. Keep everything documented. Like, don't say anything to this person. Go speak to the higher-ups. Because this person is plotting and planning to get you out of there. Seven of Swords. They want you out of there. But I feel like you could just go to, like, another building. Like, the same company, but another um, another location. I also feel like you should file a complaint against them. But that's up to you. Just to get away from this person. I feel like this person, they just want control. And they want you to lose your job or something like that. Let me get you your final message. All right, we have hedgehog, vulnerability, hiding the heart, tenderness, culture, and creativity, surprising yourself, the rich broad. Elixir, yeah, health, toxicity, attending, and overall energy is pawn, looking inward, inspiration, uncertainty. So yeah, someone here... The main message here is someone wants you to have to choose between your job and your love life or personal life or something like that. And you don't have to do that. They just want you to hate your job and leave it. All right. I'm going to leave it there. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.